Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. It's a little bit loud in here right now. Tyler's vacuuming his truck or something. Don and Cece are cleaning up the table right now from their school stuff. They just got finished. I've been making a cleaning list. This is like a weekly cleaning list or maybe even longer than a week. I'm, I'm hoping to get all this stuff done this week. I put some stars over here because these are daily. At first I was doing a what I want to clean today list and then it turned into more. So then I just put these stars here because these are daily things that, you know, need to be done every day. Mr. Man woke up. I hear him whistling. Did you have a good nap? You did. We will go ahead and sweep the porches okay. and knock down spider webs. And I'll go ahead and clean the black zone. I already cleaned the part that you cook on, but I made a lot of pancakes out there this morning and I dripped pancake mixture everywhere and the little shelves and stuff on it need to be cleaned off. See how it looks in here since we vacuumed. This vacuum cleaner, I told y'all before, it does a very good job. I mean, this truck has a really nice interior to be. It's a, what model, 77? They love these old trucks. But yeah, this vacuum cleaner, I've told y'all before, it does a better job vacuuming the cars than the vacuums at the car wash. I think somebody's doing a joke on me with the pumpkins because every day it was that white one now this orange one i have it sitting up here on the bench somebody keeps moving it back over there to the hay bales there's a pumpkin trickster around here somewhere supper time and we are striking up the blackstone again so we're making philly cheesesteaks i'm going to chop up some onions and green pepper and some spicy peppers these are only for the people who want spicy and for the spicy ones i also have this cream cheese that we're gonna spread on there i think it'll be really good so they're gonna kind of be like jalapeno popper philly cheesesteak since I'm using hot peppers for some, I'm just gonna do one green bell pepper with the onions here. Cause I know that me, Titus, Jonah, and possibly Tyler are gonna want the hot peppers. All right, got those ready. I'm gonna go ahead and slice these and I am gonna take out the middle and the seeds here. Did I cut that one? Oh yeah, it's just still trying to stay together. Uh, I don't think these are hot ones because a little bit of pepper juice just got in my eye and it's not burning, so. I should have had on some safety glasses for these. I found some safety glasses. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm feeling the burn. Okay, I'm feeling the burn a little bit. It's not bad though. It was a delayed reaction. <laughs> so we have thin cut steaks. I really like to use sirloin, but Walmart didn't have any thin cut sirloin, so I got thin cut ribeye, which actually thin cut ribeye is better than the thin cut sirloin, but sirloin's cheaper, and now Walmart doesn't give you, you know, the good substitutions anymore. Like, I mean, they'll still substitute it, but you have to pay the price for the substitution. But I went ahead and got them because I really wanted to make these Philly cheese steaks. I'm also fixing this bag of southern chicken bites from Walmart. Just some of them because mainly that like Philly cheese steaks. And, oh, these aren't little. I mean, they're not super big, but they're not like little. They used to look kind of like Chick-fil-A's things. These are different now. I'm just gonna go ahead and make the whole bag. <laughs> Since they're bigger pieces, I thought it was the little nuggets. I mean, look at that. That's a chicken strip, just about. I mean, I'm pretty sure the last time we got those, they were little, like the little Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. 
Not today. Okay, now I just have to slice up the steak and we'll be ready to go and put all this on the blackstone. Philly cheesesteaks is one of our favorite meals. It's right up there with tacos and spaghetti. <laughs> I'm gonna put the peppers and onions right here. Okay, now we're gonna turn these way down because the last thing we have to do is just toast the hoagie rolls out here. Okay, these are already split, so I'm just going to open them up and put them on there, and it only takes about 30 seconds. Oops, he's telling Sissy she's just a little baby. He's out here not riding. Is that fun? He's fast, huh? Okay, so for the spicy ones, we're putting this is going to be a spicy one right here. Yeah, we're putting a little bit of the spicy cream cheese. Ain't nothing like it. Now I'm going to come on here with a little bit of meat. Jake. That's what I'm going to do. Jake, do you want your spicy or regular? Now, don't forget your cheese over there. Okay. <laughs> Everybody knows you can't have a really good Philly cheesesteak without extra cheese. You want that cheese on there. Kaboom. Let that cheese melt down. We'll kind of cut that on the slant a little bit. Walk well, like a nice little boy. You want me to toast? <laughs> We're we gonna stick it in here under the brawler for you. We're gonna, we're gonna stick it in here to melt the cheese for you, everybody. Cause it didn't melt like I wanted it to. Mm -hmm. You could also do it on the black stone, but I've already cleaned it, so. <laughs> Y'all seen me do that before. Yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. You are? Great for the hydrate. Oh, that's better. That's, that's better. better. Mm -hmm. Let's see. <laughs> it's gonna be a little hard to get this thing on here. <laughs> Come around, come around. Just there we go, half, half and half, half right half. there. Half cream, half milk. All right, everybody, now the cheese can be melted a little more. We ain't gonna let something like that bother us. You gotta have your curlies. That's what you're after right there. These are different than the ones we made before because we added jalapenos. Got me. And shredded cheese. Got a little shredded action going on. Mm -hmm. I'm excited right now. Not only am I eating one of my favorite last meals of the day, not of my oh life. Oh gosh, I was not to of say. my life. I'm also excited about my first meal of the next day. Oh yeah, I saved out some of the pumpkin. She made some awesome pumpkin pancakes, pumpkin pancakes right there, and I'm gonna tell you what's the truth. Wow, with that little cream cheese on there, it's good. See that cools it down. It's good. All right, we are finished eating. We have peppers and onions left, a little bit of steak, a couple of rolls, a few curly fries, lots of chicken. I'm just gonna wrap this up and it'll be for lunch tomorrow. Manly is enjoying it. Did anybody else try the chicken? You like it? Okay, everybody else likes it. Does it taste like Chick-fil-A's chicken? Not really, but they still like it. They said it's good. Now it's cleanup time. Our secret to getting cleanup done fast is if you put on Christmas music, everybody jumps in and helps you because they get excited and it gets done quick. Got it? That big. We got something out there.